go to Jenny. Right, Jenny, Jenny Sexton is a soulful artist who loves painting faces and embraces raw emotion through natural expression and light. Jenny, Jenny should hopefully be able to hear me and will be joining us now. Hello, can you hear me? We can indeed. Hello, Jenny. Oh, oh brilliant. I got confused then because I did think I was next. <laughs> Not to worry. Okay, so can you hear me okay? We can hear you very loud and clear. Please introduce your artwork. Yeah, I'm Jenny um, and I like to paint faces. I call myself <clears throat> a soulful artist because I really love to embrace raw emotion and I try to capture that in my portraits wherever I can through natural expression. As a child, art was all around me. We were a family of musicians, artists, poets, um, dancers, but it was never felt that I would make a career out of any of that. So I was encouraged to go into the corporate world instead, where I stayed for far too long um, and my artistic skills became really rusty. But then nearly four years ago, I partially lost my memory. And the reason this is relevant is because I definitely felt a change in my abilities and shift in my abilities afterwards. I lost some skills, but I was also drawn back to my creative roots and everything just seemed to click for me. Um, so the art kind of became a therapy for me and it helped me to find my artistic voice because like I say, I look for those emotive subjects now and I steer my commissions in that direction too. But it also helped me to sort out all of those mixed emotions that I felt after that trauma of losing my precious memories. So that's me, but moving on to my three pieces I've submitted today. The first piece is called A Mother's Love Knows No Boundaries. Now the narrative, narrative of this picture really, really resonated with me. Um, I just really could feel the love that was oozing from this mother as she was blowing a socially distanced kiss to her son who was taking the photo. As a mother of a son myself, the thought of being separated from him forcefully is just incomprehensible. So for me, there's actually three people in this painting. The second one, I've entitled Over But Not Out. This is actually my son and his two best friends in front of their beloved cricket pavilion wearing their cricket whites. Last summer, they left their primary school for the last time. They were year sixes, but they were not able to celebrate the way that we all wanted them to, which was heartbreaking. So they had mixed emotions too, but I wanted to capture the positive side. So, you know, they're carefree attitude about starting the next chapter in their lives they were always pranking each other lots and lots of laughter um, and I hope I've captured that as a souvenir for him and then lastly um, wish upon a star this is a father and daughter that were pictured in front of Cinderella's castle at Magic Kingdom it was flash photography at night so all the colours were washed out and I've been there so I wanted to inject that enchantment and that magic that you feel back into the painting for them by adding the abstract colours into the background and into her hair. So that's it. Thank you for listening. That's lovely. Thank you very much, Jenny. Let's go over to our first judge now. Sujato, what are your thoughts on the Jenny's artwork there? I love the one she's done with her son and his friends, you know, it has so much emotions in that, you know, that it's in, but it's not out, but it's out, but it's not in. It's it's really beautiful piece. And I see that she's using her expression with some sort of a realistic approach to it with her way of doing it. So uh, it's her way. And if she feels that this is her voice and this is what makes her happy, I think that's the whole idea of art that whatever you feel and the way you feel you put it out you know without thinking what others are thinking so I, I enjoyed the way you put the things the way you express especially the way you've titled them you know so they, that makes it very interesting yes thank you brilliant thank you Sujata Gita tell me what are your thoughts on Jenny's work hi Jenny hello 
I'm, I'm so glad, um, you know, your uh, inspiration for uh, arts had come back as quite naturally after your, you know, trauma with um, lo memory loss, but wonderful work. Uh, all three of them spoke to me, uh, you know, uh, it, it's about bond, it's about love and bond, and uh, and each one in a different circumstances, so therefore it really worked, and every I'm, I'm sure every mother can sort of relate to all of that. What I liked about the quality of the painting was, first of all, so your technique is absolutely brilliant. Um, whilst one thing is the emotion of capturing that moment of joy, or a mother letting go, um, or father feeling that comfort of holding that child, all of those are emotions, but the technique that you've employed, um, you know, it very greatly enhances those emotions quite uh, beautifully. Um, the, I think my favorite was um, the one that you did as a wonderful gesture to your son. Um, and again, I was thinking if, if you had not explained all of that, that could be just a moment where they won a cricket match or something like that, you know, it's, it, because it's a summer afternoon and, it, and so it, 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 you, you one could interpret it in any which way, um, but beautiful. I'd really like the way you captured, you know, it's a midday, uh, I think, when uh, the one with the mother blowing a kiss to the son. Um, so, the, you know, the, so small details of the shadow uh, and th things like that in a stark reality of the mask and the phone, yeah. you know, which is, uh, you know, something to hold on to. Um, so all of those realistic uh, aspects that you portrayed also, I really enjoyed it and wishing you the very best. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Thank you, Geeta. Thank you very much for that. So moving on to Richard, what are Hi, your Jenny. thoughts on like? Hi, Jenny. Um, so lovely to see your work. Um, you, you occupy a kind of a difficult place where you are um, making work which is realistic. You, as, as Geeta said, you have you have great technique, um, but yeah, you know, part of me will always ask when I'm seeing paintings like this, why don't you take a photograph? Why aren't you Why aren't you just doing it as a photograph? Um, and you describe yourself as a soulful artist, and I couldn't. I can see the soul in the first two. But that's because I can imagine, not because of the painting, but because I can imagine the relationships and, and that's where the soul is. I did see the soul and very strongly in the last one, Wish Upon a Star, where you started to look at how you could use paint, use colour, use the blurring of things to not end sense be photo, although it still had a realism to it. You're actually playing a different game. And I think that's where you stepped out of the, why aren't you taking photo, why aren't you just taking a photograph of this, of this into what I call art making, into making yeah. a work of art. And I think that one had, had real potential to be developed further in, in other ways of looking at how to be a soulful artist, of asking the question, if I can do this with a photograph, do it with the photograph. But if I'm not using it, if I'm painting rather than taking a photograph, how do I make something which is different and says something differently? And that's the one where I think you really did that. The others, I could see the relationships, but that wasn't coming from the painting. It was coming from the relationships. The last one, it was different and, and really applaud you with that one. I think that was great. Thank you. Thank Jenny. you. Thank you, Richard. Thank, Jenny, what are your thoughts on the, on the judges' uh, comments there? I feel a bit like a rabbit in headlights and I feel like I want to cry. <laughs> But um, yeah, I absolutely agree with you, um, Richard. I, I, I can't see the point of replicating a photo and I try to encourage commissions to let me have my artistic license and make it into a work of art. And definitely recently I've been trying to be more abstract with the background and moving away. Maybe the face might be in focus, but as you move away, become looser with the brush strokes. And I've been doing that a lot more recently and I think that works. And um, I, yeah, I totally agree. If you want a photo, have a photo. Um, but I, I believe that art should actually improve on a photo. And that's what I want to try and get better at, I guess. But I just thank you so much for, for getting me through to this stage. It's just very humbling, very humbling. Thank you. Good luck to everyone. Oh, that's lovely, Jenny. Thank you very much for that. Um...